Hey what's up everyone, it's Mr. Crucial here at my test world. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a 16-bit Fibonacci linear feedback shift register or just LFSR. So what this circuit does is it generates pseudo random numbers. What I have here is my serial out shift register and it shifts its bit from right to left. This was built in my first shift register video so check that one out first but I've made a few modifications since the video I ripped out the circular feature I moved my reset line up on top here and that's because we're going to be laying some XORs in front of the unit but if you're going to remove your reset line like I did make sure this lever doesn't interfere with the D-flops second thing I changed was the clock my clock used to be on the other side of the unit and I moved it to this side so no big deal really I also changed the timing. You have to recalculate the timing. You want all the D flops to be going off on the same clock pulse. So the first thing I'm going to modify now on this shift register are my outputs. I'm basically going to raise them one block here to give me room to play underneath. Okay, now depending on which direction your shift register is going, mine shifts its bit from right to left, so this is my first bit. The taps for an LFSR are the 16th bit, the 14th bit, the 13th bit, and the 11th. Let me just add some repeaters in here. Okay, these four taps are going to be XOR together in sequence. So our first XOR will be coming from the 16th bit and the 14th bit. Now funny enough this XOR looks like an X so it's really easy to remember how to build. Check it out. <laughs> then you add two more blocks. So this requires five redstone torches, three pieces of dust, and that's about it. Oops. <laughs> that's supposed to be dust and this is a torch. Okay, so our 16th bit is hooked up to the B input. Our 14th bit is hooked up to the A input. And here is our output. Okay, our next XOR gate. We're going to go to our 11th bit here. And we're going to go out three blocks. One, two, three and this is where our second XOR is going to be located <laughs> alright now we're going to take our 13th bit here plug it into the A input and the output from this XOR goes into the B input okay so we're going to go to our 11th bit here now temporarily bonking out this repeater we're going to replace it with a redstone torch just so we can gauge the length on this wire and we're going to max it out so that brings us right here this is where our third XOR is going to be alright now let's grab this output from the second XOR and bring it into the B input in the final XOR sweet okay now this output is going to go into our first bit in the shift register hit it from the side and use the repeater to plug it in like this now make your little staircase and run that line to the output of the last XOR and there you go that's the 16-bit version of the Fibonacci linear feedback shift register. If you do it 4-bit it only uh, requires one XOR but this one generates more of a random like pattern. Um, pseudo random is not true random because it's determined by its initial bit but it's about as random as you can get when it comes to a circuit. So let's test it out. We're going to turn it on we probably have to replace this repeater and now let's give it a few bits 
see what happens. Oh, it looks like it has some bits in it already. And there you have it. Check it out. <laughs> so the bit is no longer going serial out in a sequence pattern. It's pretty random. And that's how it's done. So rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace.